A repeating rifle, or repeater for short, is a single barrel rifle capable of repeated discharges following a single ammunition reload, typically by having multiple cartridges stored in a magazine, within or attached to the gun, and then fed into the chamber by the bolt via either a manual or automatic mechanism, while the act of chambering the rifle typically also recocks the action for the following shot. In common usage, the term repeating rifle most often refers specifically to manually operated weapons, as opposed to self-loading rifles, which use the recoil and blowback of the previous shot to cycle the action and load the next round, even though all self-loading firearms are technically a subcategory of repeating firearms. Repeating rifles were a significant advance over the preceding single-shot breech-loading rifles when used for military combat, as they allowed a much greater rate of fire. Repeating rifles saw use in the American Civil War during the early 1860s, and the first repeating air rifle to see military service was the Windbutch's rifle. Manual Mechanism Revolver Action While some early long guns were made using the revolver mechanism popular in handguns, these did not have longevity in the marketplace. Although the revolver mechanism was fine for pistols, it posed a problem with long guns, without special sealing details. The cylinder produces a gas discharge close to the face when the weapon is fired from the shoulder, as was a common approach with rifles. Bolt Action The bolt is a mechanism that is operated by hand to extract a fired cartridge, move a fresh round into the chamber and reset the firing pin, readying the weapon to fire again. The bolt closes the breech end of the barrel and contains the firing pin. The bolt is held in place with a lever that fits into a notch. Moving this lever out of the notch will release the restraint on the bolt, allowing it to be drawn back. An extractor removes the spent cartridge, which is then ejected through the lever slot. A spring at the bottom of the magazine pushes up the reserve rounds, positioning the topmost between the bolt and the chamber at the base of the barrel. Pushing the bolt lever forward chambers this round and pushing the lever into the notch locks the bolt and enables the trigger mechanism. The complete cycle action also resets the firing pin. The Mauser rifle of the late 19th and early 20th centuries is the most famous of the bolt action types, with most similar weapons derived from this pioneering design, such as the M1903 Springfield and the Carabiner 98 Coors rifle, abbreviated often as KAR-98K or simply K-98. The Russian Mosin Nagant rifle, the British Lee Enfield, and the Norwegian Krag Jørgensen are examples of alternate bolt. Lever Action In a classic lever action firearm of the Henry Winchester type, rounds are individually loaded into a tubular magazine parallel to and below the barrel. A short bolt is held in place with an over-center toggle action. Once closed, the over-center action prevents opening solely by the force on the bolt when the weapon is fired. This toggle action is operated by a hand grip that forms part of the trigger guard. When operated, a spring in the tubular magazine pushes a fresh round into position. Returning the operating lever to the home position chambers the round and closes the breech. An interlock prevents firing unless the toggle is fully closed. The famous model 1873 Winchester is exemplary of this type. Later lever action designs such as Marlin lever guns and those designed for Winchester by John Browning, use one or two vertical locking blocks instead of a toggle link. There also exist lever action rifles that feed from a box magazine, which allows them to use pointed bullets. A one off example of lever action reloading on automatic firearms is the M1895 Colt Browning machine gun. This weapon had a swinging lever beneath its barrel that was actuated by a gas bleed in the barrel unlocking the breech to reload. This unique operation gave the nickname Potato Digger as the lever swung each time the weapon fired. Pump Action With a pump action firearm, the action is operated by a movable forend that the shooter moves backwards and forwards to eject a spent round, and extract and chamber a fresh round of ammunition. Pump actions are usually associated with shotguns but one example of a pump-action rifle is the Remington Model 7600 series. Rifkus quith pump action are also kaled slide action. Falling block action Although most falling blocks were single-shot actions, some early repeaters used this design, notably the Norwegian Krag Peterson and the U.S. Spencer rifle. 
the former loaded from a Henry-style underbarrel magazine, the latter fed from a tubular magazine in the buttstock. Automatic Mechanisms Gas-Operated In a gas-operated mechanism, a portion of the gases propelling the bullet from the barrel are extracted and used to operate a piston. The motion of this piston in turn unlocks and operates the bolt, which performs extraction of the spent cartridge and via spring action readies the next round. Almost all modern military rifles use mechanisms of this type. Blowback In blowback operation, the bolt is not actually locked at the moment of firing. To prevent violent recoil, in most firearms using this mechanism the opening of the bolt is delayed in some way. In many small arms, the round is fired while the bolt is still traveling forward, and the bolt does not open until this forward momentum is overcome. Other methods involve delaying the opening until two rollers have been forced back into recesses in the receiver in which the bolt is carried. Simple blowback action is simple and inexpensive to manufacture, but is limited in the power it can handle, so it is seen on small caliber weapons such as machine pistols and submachine guns. Lever delayed blowback, as seen in for example the French FAMAS assault rifle, can also handle more powerful cartridges but is more complicated and expensive to manufacture. Recoil operated. In a recoil operated firearm, the breech is locked, and the barrel recoils as part of the firing cycle. In long recoil actions, such as the Browning Auto 5 shotgun, the barrel and breech block remain locked for the full recoil travel, and separate on the return. In short recoil actions, typical of most semi automatic handguns, e.g., the Colt M1911, the barrel recoils only a short distance before decoupling from the breech block. Early Repeaters The Jennings Magazine Rifle in 1849 Walter Hunt patented a repeating rifle he called the Volitional Repeater. This rifle featured a tubular magazine beneath the barrel and a lever mechanism to raise cartridges into the chamber. Unable to finance the building of the rifle, Hunt sold the rights to George Aerosmith who in turn had an employee, Lewis Jennings, improve the lever mechanism. Cortland Palmer placed the first order for the Jennings magazine rifle for his hardware store, Robbins and Lawrence. The rifle did not sell well as the ammunition was a hollow-based bullet containing gunpowder. Most of the guns were later converted to single-shot rifles. Two employees working at Robbins and Lawrence, Horace Smith and Daniel B. Wesson improved the design and sold it as the Smith Jennings repeating rifle. Laggett's Rifle A modification of the Lorenzoni system, invented in the 18th century. Thompson Rifle A repeating rifle patented in 1814, using multiple breeches to obtain repeating fire. Girondoni Air Rifle repeating air rifle designed in 1779. Roper repeating shotgun. Cookson repeater. Calf repeater. Colt revolving rifle. Spencer repeating rifle. Harmonica gun. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.